Okay, so now we're gonna learn another way to add zippers or zipper pulls. Um, and you're gonna do it by adding hardware. I guess you can do this for any hardware. Um, so the file we have here, it has this um, awesome hoodie, but these zippers are actually just pieces of fabric. So they're, they're not like the same zipper that we did before. So you wouldn't be able to like unzip it do you see? So somebody just drafted a pattern piece and then um, for their fabric, they inserted this um, texture. So it kind of looks like a zipper, right? So it's a little bit different. So this is kind of cool because you can put in like any artwork that you wanted. Um, so because it's not really a zipper, we don't have the option to choose like zipper pull and slider and all that stuff. So we're just gonna have to like glue a hardware on. So to do that, you can click hardware. And I mean, this goes for like buckles and cords and other buttons and I guess like ribbons and a whole bunch of fun stuff, right? Um, so we are gonna choose da, 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 zipper, <laughs> the zipper folder. Okay, and we're gonna add a pull for, or a slider, sorry, excuse me, a slider. So I'm gonna double click slider. And then here are some sliders. Now. This is the tricky part. This is the part that really confused me, but once I figured it out, I was good. You can't just click this because it's a ZSD file. Instead, we want to use an object file, an OBJ file. So you can pick which slider you like. I don't know. I'm going to say I'm into slider uh, number one. Why not? It's basic. So then you have to go to the OBJ folder. Ooh, and then you can double click the slider. Now, this menu pops up. We're not done. The confusing part is not done. Um, you have to change the object type. It defaulted to avatar, maybe because it's alphabetical. I don't know. Um, but it's a trim. So you have to go down to trim and choose trim. Okay, easy enough if you know what to do. Then say, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so there's my trims down at the bottom. Now I need to put it on my garment and here is how. There's this little glue bottle. You click it one time, okay? Then now you go to your garment and you click where to put it. Mm, I guess I can click there. I should probably zoom in and double check, right? I'm just gonna click, let's see what happens. Now I'm gonna zoom in, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Panning. Alrighty, so I can tell that my OBJ trim is selected because I can see that glue bottle. And then it has a gizmo. So I can, you know, rotate it. I can um, move it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna rotate a little bit. I think I'm gonna rotate it more. I'm gonna bring it in so it's like kind of, you can't really see the bottom. Cause you know how the zipper teeth kind of go in through the bottom of the slider. I think that's probably a pretty good position. Maybe I'll bring it up a hair, maybe rotate it again. Okay, then there's also a scale tool. If you click this, it changes the gizmo to like a tool to like make it bigger. Oh, I just made it wider, I hit Command Z. Um, so you could play with that too if you needed to resize it for whatever reason. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back to, hmm, I think you just click it one more time and it goes back to the gizmo. Um, so you can change the color of it. You can change the texture if you wanted to give it a texture. Um, let's see, so let's do the color. Right now there's no color. Um, you can do the eyedropper tool. Maybe just pick the same fabric color. If you're doing eyedropper, to get out of the eyedropper, you have to hit escape. Like, I don't know why I want to just hit okay and it's just gonna copy the color of okay or it'll copy the color of the eyedropper. I'm gonna click the fabric one more time. You have to hit escape. So a little bit of a learning curve for me. Then click okay. So now it's gray. Um, let's see here. We can also change, let's see. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You can make it a metal. So I'm trying to figure out where that is. Okay, so the material, it defaulted to fabric, um, which is a matte fabric. So we might wanna change it to metal. You'll see it when you render your garment. There you go. Okay, so there's a slider. Now let's go ahead and um, add a pole as well. So you can just go back to the hardware, click that guy, go down to zipper, and let's check out the polars and just choose any polar you want. Now again, don't forget, you don't wanna 
click the ZPL file. You want to go to the OBJ file. So I like number six, so I'm going to double click OBJ, the folder, so it opens up, and then I'm going to find number six. Ooh, I'm going to say cancel because I don't even know what I clicked. Okay, and I'm going to go click, click. Okay, and then now do you remember the object type? We have to change to trim because it's not going to be our avatar. It's going to be our trim. And then say, okay. Kind of confusing, I know, but it's okay. We'll get used to it. All right, so now we click the little glue bottle and I don't know, I'm just going to go up there. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try something, I don't do this very often. I'm gonna hit the letter F and click, oh, nope, that didn't really work. There it goes. Okay, I, cl I click somewhere and I hit F to zoom. So it kind of got me there a little bit faster, I think. Now I'm gonna pan by holding Option. Okay, so I'm gonna select this slider guy. Hmm, let's see, where did I get him? Uh, maybe I'll move him up a little bit. Mm, what's going on with this guy? I think actually I'm going to rotate by right clicking. I'm going to scoot him away from the garment. I think he's just too close. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now I can go down. I can go over here to the right. Maybe I rotate this guy a hair. Maybe I don't. <laughs> let's see. And I just gotta place it in the right spot. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it so it's a little straighter. There we go, and then now I'm gonna move it. Okay, and then maybe down a hair. So it's like on that chain. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I scooch it a little to the left. Now it's in the garment, that's only a minor problem. <sighs> So let's rotate it. Ah. Okay, is this where we want it? So this is gonna be really good practice for you as far as trying to control this like 3D plane landscape, whatever it's called. Okay, um, color, why don't we copy the color? Let's hit eyedropper, hit escape, okay. Um, it defaulted to fabric material. Um, maybe this is plastic, maybe it's metal, whatever you want it to be. Um, and that's really it. So you're gonna get some practice um, just kind of sticking these trims on it. It looks like there's one, two, three, four zippers. So just give it practice on four of them and hopefully maybe by the fourth, you'll feel a bit more comfortable. Um, as always, if you guys have questions, uh, reach out and let me know.